all about my money, get my guap and turn my hood. Higher than a bitch, I'm off the oil, they don't get it up. Running up my money, I'm getting my money, I'm talking my chicken. Huh? That bitch be talking that shit, but whole time told that bitch to listen, huh? Running up this shit, but whole time ain't no competition, huh? What's cracky, y'all? What's cracky? Damn, I ain't got my mic on. It's cool. The audio ain't gonna sound too bad. You feel me? I just like having my mic because it'd be a little better. You feel me? But what's cracking, y'all, man? Honestly, we sit here. We figure ahead. I ain't gonna lie for taking that, bro. I'm, I know I'm tired. Yeah. You feel me? I woke up early as hell. Earlier than I expected. Because I took a nap earlier in the day. So I ended up taking like a five hour, four hour, four hour nap. I'm gonna damn near say because we ain't gonna sleep till like four something in the morning. Nigga woke up at like nine. So like, damn near like five hours, but that's still cool. I ain't gonna lie, that's still cool. That's still smooth. Adults only need what? I think they say five to six hours. And then kids need six to eight. Fine tweaking. But today topic, bro, that we talking about, you know what I'm saying? Y'all probably ain't even expect this to be a topic, but it's a, it's kind of a personal topic. That's also like a relatable topic on some public type of situation. So, let's get the blunt lit real quick. You know what I'm saying? Back up. I was just smoking hot to get this shit set up right. Uh-huh. Alcohol. And I'm going to get to sitting too low. Okay. And again, go to like EA Sports. All right, look. So, I've been running this back through my head, right, since my man said it to me about like a week ago. Literally a week ago. Exactly a week ago. So, <coughs> I was interning, but now I work for my dog Ricky, right? Ricky Collins. Now, my boy Ricky used to literally work with and work alongside Mr. Floyd Money Mayweather, you feel me? You know, boss of boxing. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Pay-Per-View himself. My man's left a lot of juice from me. A lot of different things, you know what I'm saying? A lot of valuable information that he's applying to what we got going on now. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy for, you know what I'm saying, being there for me and letting me be there for him, you know? I just want to put that out there. But <clears throat> he said something to me, right? So we have a combo. I stopped doing that look. That shit, yes, bro. I just said that. I just said that. Hold on, give me oh, my homies, nigga. I be tweaking. And then be wondering, you would look up and wonder why you got black tar on your shirt and shit, boy. Doing all that. Whatever. All right, my fault. I just gotta strike that shit. I'm gonna delete that shit. Clip it, whatever. So me having the convo, right? My nigga tell me he like um he like you want to see a million dollars. So when he said I already know where it's coming from and who you finna show show it show me it from. You know, I'm like hell yeah. I always want to see motivation. So he pulls up a video of him sitting up in the locker room with Floyd. Floyd got the got the team with him. And he got an M sitting on the bench. You know, he's just doing him talking, doing what he do. Okay. After he said that, I crack a joke. He said something else. I'm like. Oh God, he coming up, it's like, oh God, come on, let's bust this bitch down. My homie like, shit. I start laughing, he like, shit. He like, <coughs> Floyd ain't breaking nobody's shit. He wasn't saying it in a bad way neither, though. I'm finna get, like, literally, I'm finna go the fuck off. 
He like, Floyd ain't breaking off nobody, nothing. He said, Floyd the type to sit here, make a million, call you, see what you doing, how you come in, just to help him count the million. And then send you back on your way. I'm like, that's funny as hell. He like, oh, bro, no dead ass. Like, he like, nigga. Because, like, it's his money that he making. And it's not as saying, like, you know, he trying to be stingy or flex or fun or be all up in the motherfuckers that ain't got as much as him in they face. Like, oh, yeah, I got this. You don't type shit. Nah. It's a, I got this. You should want to have this, too. You know what I'm saying? If I could acquire this, you should feel like you want to acquire this, too. You know what I'm saying? If you, especially being around me. So when you come and help me count this money, I'm not trying to make you count it to just be sitting here helping you count my money. No, nah, it's to motivate you when you're touching it. What does it feel like? What does it feel like to thumb through continuous fucking uh, 10 pieces, $100 straight? What does it feel like to count on it? What does it feel like to count two on it? What does it feel like to count three on it? What does it feel like to count four? What does it feel like to hold it? What does it feel like to smell it? What does it feel like to... Do you like how this feel? Because I do. You should still float it. Because I do. A lot of people around me and others do. Y'all got less than me, so I know this is something that y'all would love to have. Because I love having it. So what are you gonna try to do to obtain this? I feel like that's fluid. After listening to certain interviews, taking away from certain shit you just said, right? Floyd gonna treat people the way he wanna be treated, I feel like, in a sense like this. He's, he wants you to come around him if he allows you to be around him. He doesn't want you to come around him and he wants you to tell him, like, I want you to show me what you're doing. Do you consider me a friend or do you just consider me an employee? Let me know that first. If he lets you know that he see you as a friend and an employee, but, but still friend is in there, like, all right, well, look, if you really see me as a friend, bro, you will help me acquire or get into a similar lane that you in. I gotta be doing the same exact shit, but tell me, give me the game plan or give me some sauce on how to just jump into the world. So if I wanna jump into any lane, I'll be able to apply this info to that and get my own shit rolling. I feel like you the type to want you to say it. It's that him thinking, wondering, and actually knowing that that's probably what's on your mind. So that's what he ended up doing when you start working with him and being beside him. He, um, he shells you. What I mean by that is he takes you underneath his wing and he's someone holds you hostage, but not in a bad way. It's just in a sense like, if you're not really coming to me or telling me like you're really looking for something way more, but you contributing to what I got going on in the correct ways, and I actually like am appreciative for what you bring, then I'ma just keep you around because if I know I can continue to feed you, I'm going to feed you, and that's what I wanna do. It's not necessarily that I don't want you to go nowhere and I'm not allowing you, you can go wherever, but until you really feel like you ready or you know you ready, I ain't gonna let you go nowhere or I don't wanna let you go nowhere. This might be something you miss it. You know what I'm saying? And that some more shit you can utilize and put towards other shit. But if you feel like you got enough and you feel like you didn't want enough for me, Try to go get something to shake and go do your own shit. You know what I'm saying? If you don't say it, he not gonna just <clears throat> put it on the table. 
So as long as you underneath them, he just gonna hold you like this. Oh, no, no, you, shit, you work for me. Shit, I'm trying to go do this down the third. Oh, yeah, I feel okay. Shit, well, look, you can do that, but then I need you right back here because I need you for this. I need you for that. You whole time being around the bush, probably want to tell him, like, you know, all right, look, that's really what I'm trying to do. I want to go back home because I want to do this. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to take lay some shit like this, put some shit on the floor. And that's for sure for my people. I learned so much from you. This, that, and the third. He probably just want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't always, you know, but it ain't no problem. It shouldn't be no problem, even if you don't tell a person, you know? It should understand if you go from underneath them and you branch off and go do your own, it shouldn't be seen as nothing wrong. Because, nigga, a piece of, more of a piece of you is being put out into the universe. Okay, one more thought. More of a piece of you is being put into the universe or put out into the universe. Without it having to physically be you doing it. A part of your game plan or parts of your game plan is being utilized in somebody else's game plan somewhere else in the world right now. That you personally molded. So now, all you gotta do as being a big boss is just wait to see if you end up seeing your prodigy, your protege at the top with you. Because when you do, or if you do, you just wait for that time so you can shake their hand. Like, that's what the fuck is up. You was around me and you did the, you took from me the right way and you did the right shit. I can't be nothing but happy. Because, see, I keep a lot of people around me for reasons because they really, without me, they probably ain't going to do shit. If not at all, they're not going to do the right shit. So it's like, if you is a person that from, that's around me, that comes from around me, and you can branch off and actually go make something shake based off of what you learned from me, what that rubbed off on you, you can't do nothing but salute you. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to discuss that because, like, me working personally alongside my boy, who got the knowledge that he got and the type of sources he got, bro. It just kind of gives me an insight somewhat of what, like what's, what, what Floyd got going on, but on a way bigger scale. Floyd is making shit happen based off of understanding. People, you know, like shout out 50, I fuck with 50 Cent, but like, you know, I feel like some people should just like leave some shit be because like, he might not be the smartest when it comes to books, literature and shit, but everybody ain't literally smart. You get it? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, literature, literally. You know? They're not literally smart. Motherfuckers might be business smart, adequately smart. You know what I'm saying? Where they understand different aspects of life in a different way, in a better way, in a more advanced way than just books and English and Words and shit. Words is always going to get involved. and be involved. It has to be. Because conversation is always going to be involved. But if you know how to talk. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that will save your ass way more versus knowing how to read. If you know how to deliver yourself as a person, you never need a script. You should never need no no monologue, no nothing to go go by or anything or look over nothing. Cause when you really are good at what you do and it's your passion, you can just naturally do it. You know what I'm saying? And Floyd literally naturally does business, bro. It's his it's his calling. He done got around the right people, rubbed elbows, shoulders, arms, whatever, locked arms, hands, whatever. Put hands together and all, bro. And the man is a billionaire, but he was a boxer. He's not a he didn't have to keep boxing to become a billionaire or stay a billionaire or whatever, you know what I'm saying? The man was able to utilize business. Um, bro, and we gonna end this, we gonna instantly end on that, you feel me?
You already know what the fuck going on. Shit, but Mr. Sitchy, keep them likes coming. Keep them subscribes coming. You boy gonna get up, y'all. You thirsty. Higher than a bitch, I'm off the oil, they don't get it up uh, Running up my money, I'm getting my money I'm talking my chicken, her little bitch be talking that shit But her time told that bitch to listen